We um, acquired a grant to purchase a 3D printer for the STEAM studio and specifically school of ed students for one of my tech and ed classes about three years ago. And it's a, it's a high quality type of 3D printer that uses resin. With that, what we did a couple years ago was we had some middle schoolers and also Rockers high school student, Krishan Harris, work on a prosthetic arm for a young man. So I reached out to Krishan from way back uh, a couple years ago. And um, he actually uh, said, I, I can come and, and do this. And so I keep it at the back door and he's social distancing. And so he comes over about once a day, a doctor from Billings, Montana had written a code for and designed and we're sharing these with people to go ahead and 3D print these. The first set of codes did not work that we got from the Montana group. So he revised those codes and came out with the mask that looks like this. So, so this takes about eight hours to print. So we're trying to print two a day. He also went in and figured out a way to make it more comfortable. Um, this mask should last a lifetime. Uh, what you do is there's a little filter that you put in there and then you can breathe better and uh, you can sanitize this all day long. Adjustable straps, it's it's very sturdy. It's, it's a lot sturdier than the filament mask. I think that they've been printing um, and you'd really have to throw it across the room to break it or step on it or use a hammer. I mean, it's it's amazing. I think it's a an example of just Rockhurst mission and vision and um, people coming together.